Okay, so continuing to field questions here for Yosemite. Student is asking about a video I made recently where I talked about doing 40 versus 80 questions per day, how sometimes if you have a weaker foundation, doing 40 per day can be better, that 80 per day can be good for achieving more of a volume game. But the student wants me to elaborate a little bit more as far as whether he or she should be doing 40 or 80 questions per day, okay? So this is an important topic to discuss as far as how many UWorld questions is ideal for you to be doing per day, okay? So before we get started, I'll to be an asshole like I usually am, tell you to subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel, share with one of your friends prepping through SMILE, help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button, hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical, link is down below. And find me on Telegram, recently created a Telegram group and channel, the links are down below. Now let me address the fucking question, which is, can I elaborate more specifically as far as when should you do 40 versus 80 questions per day in UWorld, okay? Now look, if your foundation is very weak, it's never cookie cutter for every student. That must be explicated. However, as a general umbrella initial discussion, if your foundation is very weak and your scores are low, it can be advantageous. It is generally a recommendation of mine to do 40 questions per day in tutor mode, untimed random okay that is generally my prescription for most students doing questions in random mode will help you build greater retention in the macro okay that's very important uh, i've made prior clips on this that your retention will be greater if you see questions at more sporadic uh, dispersed intervals uh, as compared to having a greater temporal density where you might have a more transient uh, spike in your retention but it will quickly evanesce and then uh, doing questions in uh, random mode, uh, sorry, tutor mode, um, is good because you initially have a shock value. You see a question, you can immediately see the answer, as opposed to if you do things in timed, there's a greater propensity to have ADHD when you're trying to read 40 straight explanations subsequently. So should you do 40 versus 80 questions per day? Once again, if you have a weaker foundation, uh, spending a solid six to eight plus hours going through 40 questions in untimed tutor random, very good. 80 questions per day can serve the benefit of if you are closer to your exam and we don't have much time to work with, we want you getting into the NBMEs closer to your exam. And I've made plenty of content on this. We want you focusing on the NBMEs closer to your exam. The real deal is going to be the NBMEs. But if you still haven't finished much of UWorld, 80 per day can help us engage in the volume game where you're knocking out the questions. You need questions to kinetically augment your score. However, if we exceed 80 questions per day, if we go into the three block per day territory, 100, 120 questions per day, students tend not to read, okay? I know some of you might uh, be amazing and you have great reading speed. We're talking most people tend not to read when they're doing more than two blocks per day. So 80 questions per day has a place for students who are getting closer to their exam. They still have a lot of UWorld left, but we need to get you into the NBMEs pretty soon. So we need to knock out UWorld. And we recognize that getting through questions will augment your score. Whereas if your foundation is fairly weak, even if you're getting closer to your exam, I will oftentimes still have the student go through questions more slowly uh, just to really uh, get the get the student, I was going to say fucking patient, get the student up to around pass level, uh, doing fewer questions per day, even if you're closer. Uh, that is generally something I recommend for students, okay? And then finally, just uh, I don't want you going into your exam without assiduously memorizing forms 20 through 30, the NBMEs for step one, and then for step two, the clinical mastery series uh, plus NBMEs six through 11, Okay. There's a lot we can talk about on this topic. I hope that addressed uh, somewhat concisely what you needed to know, okay? So if you like my stuff, you know the deal. I'm gonna continue making more content. Subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.